Hi YouTube, I want to show you my actual setup on the Jazz Mutant Lemur. It contains uh, several interfaces. Here you get a 5 channel control for Ableton Live. And here you got a keyboard with an apatiator and a sound control surface for the Synd 1. Here you got a looper mod for control change data on each axis. And here you got two step modulation modules also sending control change data. So first of all I press play. So each channel got a big volume slider. And as you see this is a two-way communication. One guy asked me if that is a two-way communication. So if I move the fader with the mouse here, it moves also on the lemur. Um, on each channel you got a volume slider. And you also got a EQ. This EQ um, is good to mute uh, the bass or the treble and you can let the EQ pop back if I press here and then you got a um, two sander fix here's a, a, for the delay and here's the one for the reverb and here's the glitch effect I'll show you that glitch effect later here you get a pan control which pops back into the middle position and here mute so here you get play and stop if I press stop it stops and you see uh, it in the lighting of the green play file that now there is nothing running well you might wonder that there's no clip matrix showing the patterns uh, in Ableton Live here on the lemur like the live API does but I don't use uh, the Live API for two reasons. Um, I got an old version of uh, Live 6 and there's no uh, Live API that works properly with that. And um, I also use this uh, setup in a concert we do do Android stream of Electric Sheep and this was a um, free jam session so I had a really big pattern matrix on that that wouldn't fit here and also I change the patterns quite frequently and uh, so I have to look on the monitor anyway and to change the patterns I can uh, use these both here to change the scenes so I can step through the scenes and then launch individual patterns by pressing here for instance or I can launch the whole scene by pressing here. And here's stop all patterns. So, um, with that uh, step modulation module you can do interesting things. I just press here play again. And here's the EQ, like on each channel. You'll see the EQ. But I can route the step modulation modules, these here, to the EQ. Um, first activate it. And then if we go back, you see um, the MIDI feedback here, and of course you see it uh, here on the EQ in Ableton Live. And I like that rhythmic uh, variation of sound, um, and the lemur is really perfect for that. But of course you can route that to anything you want. You can change here the MIDI channel and the controller number. So we're still dealing with numbers. You have to know which controller is controlling what. Therefore, um, for me, each channel is one MIDI channel. So one, two, three, four, five. And on MIDI channel six we got uh, the Synd 1. And then I got... Uh, um, Consequent routing like uh, 20 is a mute channel, 21 is volume, 22 is pan, and you will see if you look in the MIDI settings uh, in live, um, 
you, you get a list of what means what. So, um, next thing I'm gonna show you the glitch effect. This is a glitch effect, it's a deep blue glitch. It's a free Faust T plugin and I really like it. Um, you get different effects like a tape stop, modulator, retrigger, shuffler, reverser, crusher and so on. And I can even arrange uh, these effects. Um, and I can do that here with different patterns of um, effects arrangement. And uh, turn out, uh, turn off the effect here. So, and now I'm going to show you uh, Synth 1. So, about this keyboard here. Oh, well, I stopped that message sending. <laughs> no. So, this keyboard here is not only for the Synth 1. You can route it to any MIDI channel you want. In this case, as I said, it's routed to MIDI channel number 6. First, I press some tones. This is a normal keyboard with the black keys and the white keys. And yeah, you can use it as a, a normal switch keyboard and it holds the tones. Here you get the key velocity or you can turn on the apprecciator. In this case, I used the apprecciator in Ableton Live. So you can use it with another Faust T uh, than the uh, Synd 1. Um, yeah, you got... Uh, the timing over here and here's the note length if you turn on this you get re-trigger of the velocity and you can uh, do the key velocity here so and here you get the type of variation now it's up or down or different types of variation, much more as on the Synth 1 um, apprecciator. Let's take chord trigger for instance, or back to down. Here you get the groove type, the number of repeats. If it stands on infinity, it repeats over and over again. But you can also make it one repeat. Now it's one repeat every beat um, on the retrigger beat. And here you can uh, add additional steps. As long as this is zero, you get a visual feedback that this doesn't take into account. But let's make it one. So now he adds um, a step with a distance plus five. You can also change this. And um, here you can uh, um, use a scale if you want to. So, and here's the off that, uh, offset. So. Yeah, I like playing around um, with that uh, um, synth and then go deep into the sound programming of the Synth 1. The Synth 1 is also a free Faust T plugin. Um, it's a free synth. It's quite old now, but uh, also quite known and yeah, it's a nice synth. Well, the MIDI control of that runs on MIDI channel 6 and here you got different controls. Here's the ADSR for the amplifier. So maybe the attack time, longer attack time, longer release time. Here's the ADSR for the filter, uh, frequency resonance filter type again with drop down menu, two LFOs, and here are the oscillators. So um, these are the oscillators types, saw and squares now, maybe I make it noise. And yeah, what I do quite a lot is playing around um, and um, building new sounds and then I record this as an audio file and use it later in a song. I will post uh, links to two mp3 so you can see what I made out of this setup, uh, what kind of music. Because one guy asked me if the lemur makes my music better. Well, I guess not, but it changes your music. In that way, if you change the tool you use, you will change your outcome. And yeah, uh, to me it's really interesting working on detailed sound variation and stuff like that. Oh, and I forgot to show that you of course can use um, that looper mod for variation. So now it's rooted to 6, 
which is, channel 6 means always uh, um, the synth 1 and here to the filter and the note length um, but you can root it to whatever you want um, this setup will come to you with a empty song in Ableton Live 6 so all the MIDI setting is done and you uh, can just open it and start it and you can open it in Live 7 or 8 Thank you for watching and have a nice day.